This is going to be a complete how-to video on how you can install these JW Motorsports Co. Rock Lights. We have Bryce right here with his sweet Tacoma and we have our elite installer Alex which he's going to be showing us or showing you guys how the proper way to install these rock lights. So first things first, whenever you buy our rock lights, we do have eight, 16, and 22 piece rock lights. Whenever you purchase those, we give you 50 feet of wires, some zip ties, inline fuse, switch, and then some butt connectors. First things first, take the wheel well liners out. What if you don't have wheel well liner? If you had just bare metal? Yeah. I usually get like a piece of um, sheet metal mm -hmm. and make a bracket and put a magnet on the back of them. True, that works so too. Go anywhere. All right. Or we could do like you did. What'd you do? I did magnets too, but I, I also glued it. That's why. The mountain switch is most like it's most of the time the hardest part. Figuring out where to put it, especially mm -hmm. in newer trucks. We were gonna put it right here, but no, right here. And this mounting tab is right behind it. That goes in there, so couldn't do it there. So we're gonna put it here. So it'll be like right here on the front. Oh, nice. Yeah, that would be a good spot. So, because you gotta look to see where everything's at. Because, like, for example, you don't wanna get into that, which I've done on my truck and I had to get the Dremel out and literally cut some of the dash out. Mm -hmm. You just wanna pay attention to where everything's at. What if you. I mean, I know that's a good spot, but I know some people, like Mondo, he put one, like, on the Down there. here? Yeah. It's all depends on how easily accessible you want it mm -hmm. to be. That spot's perfect. That's how you do it. Yeah, so I mean, depending on the vehicle application on this Tacoma, that spot worked out perfectly. The newer the car, the harder it is. Yep. Like that 2020 or 2019 1500 mm -hmm. we did. To so run the wires for the switches, what you wanna do is you wanna find your firewall. So for this particular vehicle, the firewall is right there. And sometimes if you already have like aftermarket accessories like amp research power steps or like audio or anything like that, um, you could use that same firewall that it came through. And that's where it came out. So we got three wires that went to the switch. Can you explain to us what those three wires are for? You're gonna have a main power wire to power going into the switch. Then you have power coming out of the switch. So that's why there's one coming from the cab. So it's gonna be the out power going to all the rock lights and then you have a ground that goes to the switch as well. So it's a three prong switch. You have power in, power out, and ground. This that one's the power coming out. That's gonna go to the rock coming. lights. That's gonna go to the rock lights. This is that I'm wrapping up now is the ground, and then that's the main power wire that's fused. Three going to the switch. It's gonna be two red and a black. One to power the switch, one for the ground for the switch. The red coming out of the switch is gonna be your power for all the rock lights, but then you also need a ground. That's why, so this one's coming switch. from the switch, switch, and then it has to be grounded to the frame or battery or whatever. But then the reason it's only one, it looks like one bloop, is because I put two more, which is gonna go right beside this one for the ground for the rock lights, because you need a power and a ground for each light. So I just made all three go into one loop, so you're not gonna be stacking three wires on top of one bolt right just for a cleaner look i mean you could individually ground each rock light but that'd be you have to find a ground location for exactly. each rock light and that'd be a pain to do after i get this grounded we can actually Start. make sure the switch works, right. and we can go ahead and put a fuse in there and then test one of the rock lights all right basically out of the three wires one wire is going to get the power from the battery and then the other red is going to power all the rock lights and obviously the black is just gonna be your ground. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get some power. Heck yeah, it works. All right, cool. You can take it off. We, so this uh, is the one main lead coming off for the switch. All right. Since we're gonna run one down one side of the truck, one down the other, that's why I branched off with two. And then you got two grounds to go each side of the truck. Perfect. Yeah, the reason why it branched off is because we want wires running one side of the truck and the other side of the truck. Obviously, the wires running this side of the truck is going to power the rock lights on this side and vice versa. This wire that split off, it goes all the way across. Here is that wiring harness you see right there. 
you're just going to run it all the way across the frame following the factory wiring go all the way to the back and it's going to come out right there which is going to power those rock lights in the back All right, so the rock lights have been installed. There you go. On. On. So all three are wired into the plug. Oh, that's sick. When you buy the LEDs, so this is what it looks like. You run it through your wheel liner, get it wired up. We used a connector and this is going to go in the back and then this is a wire that's going to go to the front. Heck yeah, those are bright. So we got our premium rock lights in the middle and then two of our advanced rock lights. So they are actually slightly different tone but whenever they merge and make one light, it looks really cool and it makes it super crisp. Dude, I can't wait to see this at night. Here is the finished product. We have eight piece rock lights on this Tacoma. It is pitch black out here. It's shining pretty good. 